Okay, in this video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up a remarketing campaign. Okay, so sort of just gone through and set up a, uh, a process here for our Spanish campaigns that we're running in this particular client's account. Okay, so what uh, first things first is you've got to uh, track the amount of people who are coming to your website. So again, uh, once you're on that audiences tab, click on the control panel and library in the left hand menu here. And it was just a couple of weeks ago that what I did was I created some bits of code that uh, essentially here you can see, here's the little bit of code. And this goes into the thank you, or not the thank you page, but this one actually goes into the, the landing page. I'll put this in the landing page of our uh, website. I've got another one here that I put into the sales page. So we land on a landing page, then it click into a sales page. And um, you can see in the process 120,000 people have visited the site. Only 87,000 have gone on to um, uh, the sales page. And because of the Google AdWords conversion tracking code, okay, that can be set up to count the conversions as part of the, uh, the remarketing here. Right, so you can see here that in this last couple of weeks, we've had 170 people who've purchased the uh, the product here. Now, this is not a, a, a great ratio, uh, but you know, hey, we're we're getting it's working. All right. But what I've also done here is I've created some combinations. All right. So when you come up here and create a new audience, all right. So you can choose either a remarketing list or a custom combination. Now the custom combination as I've described here is visited sales page but not bought the book. You know, visited the landing page not purchased, right? And visited uh, sales page, okay that's the Australian one. Here's the Spanish one, so, Spanish sales page but not purchased. All right, so when it comes time for me to you know, create the ad groups, this is probably the one that I'm going to use as my uh, chooses the combination all right so because I don't want to retarget my ads to anybody who's already purchased the book it doesn't make any sense okay so we're only selling one product and we don't need to target those people again so what I've done in this instance is I've actually created a specific campaign because because of the remarketing you literally can control anywhere in the world uh, and actually just uh, thought of this here. So if I go to this campaign here that I've created called Spanish Remarketing and if we look at the settings that I've set up here I've decided to you know, create target all of the countries that we are actually operate in. Well in fact I don't really need to worry about that because I can just do all countries and territories because the only people are going to see this ad right are going to be the ones right um, Actually, and I can't do that because there are certain problems that we have with uh, our product in different countries. So actually, I'm back to <laughs> where we were. So I'll target all of those. I'll untick a couple of these. Um, French Guinea, Guyana. Right. Well, literally, I can keep all of those uh, highlighted because the only people are going to see it are going to be the ones who uh, have seen our ad in the first place. All right, so I'll save that. And of course, what I'm doing here is I'm targeting just the display network, just computers, and uh, and the rest is fine. Our oh, demographic I excluded anyone zero to seventeen because they, yeah, probably not going to purchase. So it will save that and what I've done here, let's go over to the remarketing campaign. Now what I did was that, or the ad group that I've created, just I'll create a one ad group and what I've done is I've copied some ads from other, another group uh, with our Spanish image ads and there's also a text ad in here as well. So in fact what I've done is cop created a group and that's it. Now there's no keywords in our group because we don't need any because uh, we're just simply just retargeting the people who have once uh, been to us. So what I need to do is then go to audiences and if this was empty basically it would say add an audience and basically I can go add audience and you've got a choice to you target just the remarketing list or just custom combinations. In this instance what I've done is I've chosen this one here and I've added that 
So Spanish landing page visitors who have not purchased and I've just added and there it is there. Okay, so now once all those ads approved, what's going to happen is that the cookie has been placed onto the computer when they clicked the ad originally. So this is important just because you know we've had 120,000 it's showing us 120,000 people you know that we're tracking so far well those 120,000 have actually clicked on a Google ad to lay the cookie on the computer we could have had 500,000 people visit the website but only 120,000 are going to be tracked because they had to click on a Google ad in the first place to be counted so that's really important to understand and that's essentially it um, uh, now the one thing I perhaps failed to mention here well I'll say fail to mention is that you know you must um, you know when you're in here with this getting this tag you know this code has to go into the sales page the other one has to go into the landing page you know you've already should already have code in the conversion page it obviously doesn't work without adding this code to the website and you know it's only a 30 second job you know it literally takes as long as you've got access to your back into your website it literally takes you know sit here five minutes you can create you know two or three lots of code paste them into the html section of your website and you're done wait for the numbers to stack up go ahead create the campaign and the reason I've created a new campaign you can in fact just target specific ad groups within specific campaigns if you like as far as your, your remarketing is concerned but in this instance you know we have separated our countries okay some countries convert better than others so we can bid a little bit more the ones that are not converting very well we bid less so that we uh, uh, you know, uh, are not overpaying for our conversions. So I hope that all makes sense. And uh, that's, uh, yeah, the, the lowdown on remarketing. Hope that helps.